just understand nothing. I'm a PhD in linguistics, not in furniture making. Hello everyone, greetings from Invincible Ukraine. This video is about my village life. I will show you how I live in a remote village in Cherkasa region, in an old house which I am trying to renovate. Okay, I'm just painting it all the time, windows, walls, I'm just having fun, have a look at my fence. Yeah, the most patriotic fans in the village. Uh, by the way, in my last video uh, I showed you how I paint, painted uh, the walls in different colors. But look here, I decided to paint it back in white because crowds of locals started coming to my yard. So uh, huge excursions of locals because everybody wanted to see that crazy house and that crazy blonde <laughs> but you know it's not easy to work here in this village because every hour somebody comes and everyone wants to talk uh, and uh, we have been talking for hours but i know all the gossips and all the stories of this village you may ask me about anyone in this village now <laughs> and I have been living here only for one month <laughs> Welcome to Cherkasa region You may follow Sanchika with a speed of 10-20 kilometers for 10 minutes There are still a lot of abandoned houses in Ukrainian villages There are so many internally displaced people. You know, Can't even imagine. I'm so fed up with this water story. To have running water is my is my dream. Це у вас як в Німеччині, так гарно. Боже, ця роза яка. Боже, яка гарна. It's Ukraine. And today I'm so happy. Can you imagine? At last I have bought a bed. Yeah, just a folding bed which could fit into the boot of my car. But I'm very happy. <laughs> so, no more sleeping bag. I have a normal bed.
I've bought some pieces of furniture. So now my luxurious house is furnished <laughs> at last. Just understand nothing. I'm PhD in linguistics, not in furniture making. Actually, I could go to my neighbors and ask for help, but I don't want because his wife is very nervous every time when I come. Okay, I have no way out. I should do everything by myself, as always. No result. What? Never give up. Just do it, Vita. <laughs>
Life is easy. When you have a bed. The best music ever. Okay. It's time for dinner. For <laughs> supper. <laughs> Life is just perfect. can hear mice. It's so scary. No milk in the village shop. Because normal people have cows. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. All villages wake up and start working and I'm not an exception and the best coffee is in our village good morning prices. Uh, some fruit and vegetables uh, uh, twice as cheap as in Kiev. Can you imagine? And by the way, uh, fruits and vegetables uh, in uh, supermarkets of Kiev have absolutely different taste. So they're expensive and not tasty compared to my village. <laughs> Locals told me that this year is the first time when there are so many swans on this lake. Can you see this lake? I'm trying to show you. So uh, I presume these swans were flying to some other place, but because of military actions, they decided to stay in this village. So it's definitely a unique village and I'm living here. sponsors build it but the priest comes only on Sunday a bus stop and the only one shop like only in our village there is a museum have a look at these kittens. <laughs> the museum is closed. It is written Mu Patriotic Museum Haidamaki. And here there is a mill. friends here. I guess two or three hours a day uh, I spent on talking with the locals because my house is a kind of a hot spot for all villages. Everyone wants to come to tell his or her story and to get to know my story. <sighs> anyway, it's fun. But uh, I'm repairing and renovating my house rather slowly. <laughs> 
slowly, it's a politically correct term. <laughs> Thank you for watching, pray for Ukraine and goodbye. And thank you for your help and support.